So, so Rifle season 2023, day number three. Go to some private property and swim in trunks with a beach towel because it's 110 degrees. Make a really cool photo shoot trying to find a thumbnail that's usable. While I'm laying around, I figure out the neighbor's trying to kill me. Just joking. But I'm gonna protect the guy. I talk I about what's actually happening in this video. Confront the guy that's actually doing this stuff. On his property. I really get nowhere with me. him, but okay. that's okay. I want to raise awareness I'm gonna about what you can and can't no, do. But your neighbor did. And the neighbor finally gets a hold of the landowner. What, what happened? What did mm. you do? I'm getting ready to go hunting. Uh, can I go? I will not be bullied by that. It's 70 degrees. So swim trunks, tank top, beach towel. Here we go. set up got my beach towel laid out picking a spot tonight was pretty easy i just thought you know when it's hot like this where do i want to go and i like to go swimming I'm not kidding. I got a crap on deck that can choke a donkey. Oh. That was way louder than it should have been. I'm working on my tan. And it got me to thinking, dude, like we over. shorts and crocs and kill a deer i probably won't but you can also squirrels are extremely loud for their size <laughs>
Part of me wanted to delete this footage and forget it even happened. Part of me wants to use this opportunity to raise awareness. I'm gonna meet it in the middle. I'm gonna protect the guy's identity, because it doesn't matter. But I want people to understand, when you decide to step into the woods and hunt, you are responsible to know what the laws are. No one else. It's just like when you get in a vehicle and drive down the road. You have to know what those laws are and you follow them or else. You are responsible, regardless of what you think since 2020 or you're entitled to this or entitled to that or you get this because you want it. All that goes out the window. You are responsible for you, period. This hunter thought he was in the right. He said, well, multiple times he says, well, I'm trying to retrieve this deer I shot. Fair enough, that's good, that's ethical. That's not legal. In the state of Missouri, and I'll show it here, this is where the Missouri Department of Conservation talks about trespass after shooting game and what is legal and not legal. <clears throat> Let's address one more thing. This person was wearing an orange hat and some camo overalls, if I remember right. Nothing orange on the torso. Again, not legal. And then he just starts to sugarcoat stuff, talking about how well it was after shooting light. Well, that's weird, because my camera's picked up. And cameras will fail before actual light. Meaning, my camera will not be able to record something that I can see in real life. My eyes last longer than a camera. So if you can see this footage on my cameras, it was way lighter in real life than the camera shows you. Make your own decision there. It took this guy four shots to even hit the deer, which I know the deer did not die on the property I had permission to be on. So it went several properties over if it ever died. Um, so guy in an orange hat with no orange vest shoots deer on his own property, then crosses fence to try to find said deer, claiming it was after shooting hours, which it wasn't. Um, then argues with me. If the guy would have been like, you know what, you're right, let me hop over here and get a hold of Brennan, and he would have, like, I would have helped the dude look for the deer. But when he came at me with, well, I'm doing this and I'm doing that, and I knew very well he was not legal. Four shots, couple whizzed by me pretty good, and you can see, I think after shot number three, I actually hit the deck because I heard him going by me. <clears throat> Then he hits the deer on the fourth shot. I didn't capture it on film, but in real life I heard him yell woohoo after the fourth shot, apparently connected. I hear the deer run through the woods behind me and then it just eventually stops. I'm guessing it got in the field, went on, went on to the neighbor's property. That's when I got up and started to investigate. I don't even know what happened, nor do I care. I hope oh boy got permission the correct way and I hope he went and found his deer. I would have been willing to help him had he come at it a better direction. If he was like, you know what, you're right. Hey, would you care to help me? No, it's everything was just like, he was just, he knew what he was doing and he was right and I was wrong and I was gonna correct him. So some of you are gonna agree with this video. Some of you are gonna try to tear me apart on the internet, but guess what? Either way, you're just gonna help my algorithm. So I really don't care. Yes, I'm cutting some of it out because it's partially to protect this guy's identity, partially because I, it's not about like hating on the dude. It's more about just raising awareness on you are responsible to know what you can and can't do while hunting. That's it. That's the only reason I'm gonna post this video. The events happened, we're gonna share them. Thanks for watching. Well, I was hunting. Yeah, you got, you got permission to be over here? Do you have permission to be here? I'm trying to retrieve it. Now. Doesn't matter, you still need permission. Well, I can get permission. Well, you probably ought to do that because that's the Missouri law. That was Brennan Willard. He said you don't have permission to be on his property. Did you hear me? Gonna ignore me, okay.
First off, it took old boy four shots to try to get it done. I heard it run through the woods behind me, but I walked through there and I couldn't see it. So if that's the case, it's three, pop three properties over now. I think I'll drive back there with the lights off. And if I see him walking around, I'm actually gonna switch to the cannon because it has night vision. I'm walking back here again with my rifle and my phone. And I assume old boy's gonna be in here looking. If I don't see him, I'm gonna go home. If I see flashlight going through the woods, I'm calling the game warden. No, but your neighbor did. Oh, yeah. On this side? Nope. Yep. Sure did. Craig? No, I like Craig. This guy. I don't know, but he said he knew you. Oh. You know Brenton? Yeah, Brenton. Brenton? Mm -hmm. Actually, he didn't even know your. Brian? No, Martin, he just. Brent, Brendan. He just said man. Willard. Oh. He didn't even know your first name. He, he just he just oh, seen so Willard on the name. mailbox. Oh, that guy. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh well, he knows you. By the way, you're out of beer. It's in your woods right back here. So you're supposed to wear orange deer hunt, right? You have to have you, you have to have orange on your body and orange on your head. That's the law at all times. He goes, do you own it? And I said, no, but I have permission. See, it's so he didn't know me. Yeah. The story changed as it developed. And then- Oh, you got it, yeah. I was just getting ready to leave and the landowner said he got a text. Oh my God. I haven't read it. Do you want to read it? Hey, read it out loud. Okay. <clears throat> Brandon. I own property to the east of you. I built a new house. I shot a deer this evening in my field and he crossed over on the back side of your place. I waited until the sun set. No, he didn't. And was following the blood trail. I did cross a wire fence and had walked 20 or 30 feet into the woods past your motor trail. Thinking he was probably just inside of the tree line, I had my light and saw a hunter come from the direction. I had my light on and saw a hunter coming from the direction of your house. He began using all kinds of expletives and language, very upset that I was there. I understand when hunt gets busted, but it was past shooting light. I apologize for getting on your land. I was simply trying to do a good diligence in retrieving the wounded animal. I withdrew from tracking and drove around to your house, but no one was home. The hunter would not share his name, only threatened to call the game warden and that he was filming everything with five question marks. <laughs> wow. Sorry for the inconvenience. If I could follow up and retrieve the deer, please let me know. Otherwise, I will let sleeping dogs lie. Thank you. Gall dang.